Good day, Dino friends, and welcome back to LEGO Fortnite. Today, I have three things to show you, okay? First of all, I did it. What I said in the last video, I, c I would clear the cave and take everything. I did it. There's uh, only very few things that I left. I mean, just basic wood and stone I left behind because... Obviously, I can get infinite amounts of those next to my base. There's a forest and there's plenty of rocks, so I don't need those. I even up to a certain point, I think up to about this point, I even took all the roots, even if they were at the ceiling. You can still see some of the ladders that I placed, some of the stairs and other things that I built just to get... That one was just to get all the way to the ceiling. And I did that many times. <laughs> Building all the way to the ceilings. Okay, you cannot, you cannot uh, mine that part, I think. Here, build all the way up to the ceiling. Just to get everything, every bit of knot root and marble. But at a certain point, I got super bored of that. Um, after you do it like a hundred times. Building a complicated amount of stairs. Oh, I even got this far. Okay, there we go. There's our first bit of knot root. As you can see, it's pretty high up. And going farther, there are some that are even higher. So I think I'll leave those. So I didn't clear the entire cave. There's some marble that I just cannot be bothered with. Um, every single part of the Star Wars base has been mined. And I'm going to show you exactly what I got from it. Oh, what was that? I think it tried to load everything in and then realized it wasn't here. Now, what I don't know is if everything will respawn or not. I don't think things will respawn. Oh, I didn't do the thing where I said I might get a fishing rod. Okay, so this is where the end fight was. There was a big castle. I don't know if you remember. I've mined the castle. I have mined the entire castle. <laughs> so... There's nothing left in this cave for me, except a few resources all the way at the top. Uh, actually, I can reach this one, maybe. No? Hit! Last one, okay? Last one. Alright, second thing I want to show is my village. Oh, wait. First, I want to show you everything I got from here. Hit! Come with me. Uh, a lot of it's trash. And then I want to show you my base. Because I made some changes, because I haven't been in my village in like three videos, so you probably don't know my epic storage room. Which is about to get a really good upgrade, because with all this material I can make bigger chests, so I can have even more stuff, yes! I like hoarding all the stuff. Alright, so what did we get? Mostly, I got a weird amount of feathers. I think this is from breaking the beds. Maybe, maybe the beds have feathers in them? I don't know what else I destroyed. It was from breaking the Star Wars stuff, I know that, but yeah. A bunch of almost broken uh, stuff, useless uh, weapons and tools. Of course, a bunch of marbles and not rude. Plastoid, which is the Star Wars stuff. Uh, what else, what else, what else? So, so, so many feathers. Granite, still, even though, as I said, I wasn't going to mine the granite specifically, I still got a bunch of it. Glass is pretty good because I don't I've never made glass. So I don't actually know I think you're just supposed to go to the desert and dig sand and then smelt it kind of like in Minecraft But I'm not sure a little bit of obsidian only eight from the entire cave. Wow A little bit of copper a little bit of bright core. actually I think almost a hundred bright core actually I got more copper as well like maybe 60 I've brought some of the items already to my base because I wasn't expecting to show this I found a rainbow again in the distance, and because it was in the desert, I think the treasure was better because it was in the desert instead of on the grasslands, so it's a higher tier. Maybe this is my game theory. Um, so it had a... What, what was that? What was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. It had a pumpkin pie and two pizzas, which I haven't had yet in this game because I... Well, I didn't make them, so... I've only made burgers... Is pizza as good as burger in this game? I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to select some items and bring them to my base. And yeah, when I'm not recording, I'm obviously going to have to walk back and forth a bunch of times. Maybe I'll make a vehicle. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Huh? What? 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 
I wasn't doing anything. What? Huh? What? I wasn't. I was. I wasn't making a cult of tea posters. No, I'm just kidding. Um. So I don't remember what it looked like last time, but I made some changes. So I put more plants. For some reason, I put them like this, three at a time, and then I put some in, some planks in between. The three. The trees just keep going through. I don't know why, but yeah. Um. Might put like a fountain there. I have no idea what I'll do with this. It just keeps slowly expanding whenever I feel like I need something. I have two animals. The first one from two videos ago, I think there was a sheep or a cow, uh, completely disappeared. This happens to me every time. So I put a bunch of fences around here, try to keep them in, uh, and it doesn't really work. It works with half walls, not with fences. But then the problem with the walls is that i put walls kind of like here until here kind of around it but then sometimes when i load into the game they spawn all the way over there or at the corner so i don't think i'm going to be able to actually keep the animals in unless if i put like a big wall around the entire village so maybe that's just what you're supposed to do i'm also not allowed to have a third animal apparently until we level up the village can I level up the village? Oh yeah, we can level up the village. I completely forgot about that part. Anyway, the biggest change I made to the village was over here. If you remember, or if you've ever made the Star Wars village, at one part you have this building over here, and that's where I put my workbench, and I had my chest kind of outside of the village on that hill there. And I decided, yeah, I want the chests closer, so I'll just put them like here. Then I decided, well, might as well make like sort of a room for those chests and it kind of got out of hand so now we have oh treasure is calling treasure is calling hello treasure 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 it basically got kind of got out of hand the storage room yeah oh god i'm so bad at focusing already without you little i think it's supposed to be a little robot it looks like a skeleton head but i think it's supposed to be a little star wars I guess droid? Are all are all robots in Star Wars called droid? Or is it only a droid if it has arms and legs? I have no idea. I think in the Star Wars universe, droid just means any robot. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So this thing... Sometimes it leads me to treasure. Sometimes it just leads me to an enemy. Oh! Ooh, we got a new llama. Ooh, is it gold? Nah, it just looks gold because of my, uh... I think it just looks gold because of my, uh, fire. Are, you f are we fighting? Are we fighting now? Oh, guess we are. <sighs> Sorry, I had my sound turned way up, so... I tried to talk while fighting, but the sound was so loud. Hang on, let me turn... Get rid of this. No, it definitely looks gold. Yo, okay, what's well, going to be in a golden llama? I've never seen a golden llama before. Dude, that's not really that good, though. <laughs> um, That's not really that good. Oh, uh, okay. I keep being spotted by stuff. Dude, stop spotting me. Please stop perceiving me. Thank you very much. All right. What was I talking about? Right, the storage room. Guess I'll walk back. Wow, that was quick. Wow. That was a quick walk back to my village. Okay, so basically what I was trying to say, this used to be that one open building. Then I put my chest over here, decided, you know what? I'll just build a room around it. And yeah, I use this design that I see everyone using on YouTube where they put a chest and then you put a floor over it. That's the only way you can stack them because you cannot stack them by themselves. And yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. And because we just cleared that cave and I brought back like a ton of marble and a ton of knot root, um, I'm able to make the next tier chest, which is bigger, which is going to be even bigger. Uh, these hold 10. The next chest will hold 16 items, I think. All right. I needed three of these guns, you said? Let's go. I need to clear this area. All right. Uh, okay, clear. What? Oh, this? Is that the problem? What's the problem? 
The game is not processing that I already cleared this area. Okay, it wants me to continue building the village. I think I actually want to try and fight a brute in this video. I actually want to try. I'm going to collect some items. Should I record this? Yeah, okay. I'll, uh, what do you guys think I need to fight a brute? I'm not good at this game at the fighting... Well, I'm alright at the fighting with most creatures, but brutes are extremely strong. So I'm, I'm, I think I'll just take like a ton of food and a ton of guns and hope I can find a spot where, where basically the brute cannot get me, but I can get the brute. I also have a ton of arrows. So what is the best crossbow I can make? Flex wood rod and drawstring. I don't know what how you get drawstring. Oh, you just make it out of cord. Oh, that's easy. Get me some of those cords. Uh, where did I leave them? Here. All right. Wrong one. Okay, so here is my terrible setup. I have no idea if this is good enough. But I'm going to try my best. So basically, I've got a bunch of arrows. I made a few of these recurve crossbows that do 10 damage. 10 seems pretty good, honestly. Uh, so I can keep at a distance. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at staying at distance from the brutes. But I don't know if I'll be able to do it the whole time. Uh, I'm hoping to find a brute at a spot where there's also Star Wars guys, so they will help me fight it, because that's how I actually managed to get one of them to over half health one point, because I did some damage, but a lot of the damage was also done by the... Wait, what's that sparkling? Oh, because it wants me to build this building. Sorry. I get easily distracted, have you noticed? I got a shield just in case. I never use shields, so I'll probably forget to use it anyway. But hey, it's better than keeping a torch in my hand, I think. The torch is not gonna help. Um, just in case, I got a bunch of other weapons. I've got the E11, does almost no damage. But it's gonna help if I quickly need to shoot at the brute to keep its attention away from the guards. Um, of course, got my burgers, which give m way more health. And I don't know, the bowcaster is one that uh, shoots explosive stuff. So that's really good. Um, I only have two of these, but those are really good as well. I don't know if I'll use them right away. I think at first I'll keep both of my foods with me because I don't know how good or bad this is going to go. If it goes really well, I might quickly switch to this and finish him off with a few of these explosives. All right, so now obviously I'm going to have to pause because it might be a while until I see a brute. Um, and I have to use the bathroom, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Wait. Oh, I already see one. I didn't even go to the bathroom yet. This is like 10 seconds later. I didn't go to the bathroom yet. Is there... Okay, is that a storm-touched one, though? I see one already. <gasps> oh my god, I see one. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so tense. I have no idea if I'm going to survive this. Okay, help me out, guys. I hope the Star Wars guys will help me out. Yes, they've spotted him. Okay, come on. This is our first task. If we can do this. Come on. Ugh! Okay. Yes. I'm not even hiding. Okay. He's halfway. He's halfway. And he's not focused on the Star Wars guys. He's just letting them damage him. No, 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 no. Don't kill the Star Wars guys. No, I needed their help. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't. Wait. Wait, what if the Star Wars guy got the last hit? Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, where's the quest? Where's the quest? No, no, the Star Wars guy got the last hit! No, it didn't count! Okay, I'm not accepting this. I'm gonna find another one and kill him by myself without the help of any Star Wars guys. Oh, at least I got one of these brute skills. Those are really useful for making really good totems. 
All right, now I really have to go to the bathroom. Um, I guess I'll find another one. Hopefully somewhere where there's no guards. I thought that would help me. And I mean, it did help, of course. The guards definitely did help. But they got the last hit on him. So that wasn't so good. Because it didn't count for my quest. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we can, technically we. I think that totally counts as our first brood. Not according to the quest, but according to me, that totally counts. All right, I have to use the bathroom. I'll see you guys when I find another brood. Oops, I did that while I was in the lobby. Okay, okay. I don't know if this one is. Is this a grasslands one? And is it storm touched? I think it might be. I think it might. I'm not sure. Okay, so when I was in the lobby, I changed skin, but technically I didn't change the skin because this is still the same skin just uh, before they had a dino hat for it. Before they had time to make the Lego dino hat for it, they just made a simple default one with simple pieces. Oh, does it see me? Oh, it is Storm Touch. Okay, I think it is the Grasslands one based on the color. The, um... The, the desert one looks way different, way more brown. The grasslands one, as you can see, uh, way more green. Well, the ice one is very easy to recognize. It's very blue. So this one definitely looks more green than brown to me. Especially if you look around the eyes, it has that bluish color around the eyes. Okay, I think this is our chance, guys. Oh, okay. He's fighting someone else. Here we go. Headshot. Yes, I need headshots. Okay. What? You cannot lure them into the water, sadly. Oh my god, okay. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. Oh my god. If it hits me, I think it does so much damage. I think it does like seven hearts or something. Headshot. Headshot! Come on, keep doing headshots. I enjoy these. Okay, halfway. We're like halfway. Come on. No one steal my kill, please. I was expecting him to be way faster because it's the hardcore version. I was expecting him to be like way faster. You know, I was expecting him to be very hard to avoid because in the YouTube tutorial I watched. Oh God, the sound is so loud for me again. Hang on, let me turn it down. In the YouTube tutorial I watched, the people were all like hiding from the brutes. And come on. <gasps> Let's go! We actually did it. Okay, this is doable. This is actually doable. Well, I don't have room for a brute skill. I really need these, so... Okay. Wow. This is way more doable than I thought. Okay, and if I'm not wrong, then it's now going to say interact with a level 10. Oh, you only have to interact with it. You oh, I thought the mission was to level it up to level 10. Oh, so it's fine if I first get them to level 10 and then kill the brute and then interact with the level 10 village. Oh, well, then I might as well start already my desert and uh, frostlands villages. Man, that went way better than expected. I really hope the other... Um, I really hope the other brutes are just going to be the same speed because then I might be able to just be strong enough already the problem with the desert is that sometimes it's too hot and the problem with the ice place it's that always it's too cold <laughs> not sometimes so maybe there are some spots in the frost lands where i can be and i don't take damage but yeah i'm just not ready to go there yet i'm just gonna need those charms because even if i eat pepper and i use my torch it still doesn't make me warm enough to not take damage from the cold. So I'm definitely also going to need whatever the best charm is that I can find that protects you from the cold. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here. It's long enough now. I can't believe we made it. We got our first brood. Um, 
Yeah, this bow. It's all thanks to this bow. Yes, the recurve crossbow that I never use, but now I probably will use it more often. Um, fighting the brutes with a sword is not recommended, <laughs> I would say. But maybe that could be like a bonus goal. If we actually manage to get all of these goals and get all the rewards and I'm kind of done with hardcore mode, maybe we should add some extra uh, uh, bonus goals like kill the brute using only melee so you have to get real close with it that would be wild we should maybe do that i don't know another one could be to really make our village really good um or to build i don't know to build something because so far the village is not that good yet i'm, I'm kind of picturing this being one tower and then i could put another tower on the other side and that would be kind of the front of a castle maybe fortress kind of building i don't know anyway i'm gonna end this video here everyone join me in a dance that's right i control you they have to follow my movements stop clap stop hang on stop clap snake time <laughs> okay i'm just messing around i'm just messing around everyone if you're here you watched the whole video to the end thank you so much um yeah leave comments i probably won't see them until like three videos into the future because i record these way in advance but yeah if you have any thoughts let me know any tips let me know i guess our next goal is to level up this village to level 10 uh, to get to the next... What is it now? Level 7. To get to level 8... I need to make a building. That's going to be easy because I have a massive storage room now with lots of stuff in it. Oh! And I forgot to even mention this. This place is obviously unfinished. But all of these chests are just filled with bonus stuff that didn't fit in my storage room anymore. It's a lot of these dumb broken weapons that... Uh, actually, take that out. I want, I want this one. Uh, can I replace this? Okay, I'll take that one later. All the mobs drop broken weapons, but it's also max stacks of stuff that I just have a lot of. <laughs> this is like a backup storage. And if I die, I will spawn here. Can instantly get another totem. I think I already showed that, sorry. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this skin. I just randomly equipped... I was randomly just checking the locker and was like, wait, what does the old version of this skin look like? And it looks so good. It looks so good. So, I don't know. I, I, I'll probably keep wearing the dino versions. But I love this version, honestly. Yeah, no, I think it's really sick. I love the Fortnite version as well. Alright, I need to stop. Stop gabbing. That's what the British say. That's what the British people say. Stop gabbing. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Green Thunder and Carl for sponsoring this video it, as a patron and as a YouTube member. If you also want to help uh, and get a shout out. Oh, that's a level up randomly. Thank you so much. Um, if you also want to help, there's links in the description if you want to support. Um, also, I'm live almost every day on Twitch, noon Central European time. So if you never watch the Twitch and you have Twitch, check it out um i don't know what else can i plug here what else can i say i don't know <laughs> thank you guys for watching don't forget stomp like a dinosaur stomp so are you gonna jo join me in stomping stomp stomp Rawr. Rawr. <laughs>